All right, so I got a question from Richard Green, and he wants to know about drum loops. So I'm actually gonna read his question real quick. So he says, hey man, when using the preset drum grooves, at the end of each bar of the groove, you get a cymbal crash. I know you can have it to play up to eight bars, but then at the end of the eight bars, there's a cymbal crash, which I don't want. Have you found a way to edit that to remove that cymbal crash? Thanks. All right, so I'm just gonna show you how to do that right now. This is the way that I do it. It's pretty uh, straightforward. So we're gonna go into Empty Power Drum Kit and you go into the groove well, first, you see the mixer thingy. So then you click here on grooves and then you see right here is the bars. So you can choose how many bars you go up to, which is interesting. So as you see, like you said, you can go up to eight bars. So you click that. So I'm just gonna click one of these. I'm gonna drag it over here and it's gonna put it at the beginning of the measure. Let's listen to it. Actually, so we're gonna loop it. So really quick, if you're not sure how to loop it, if you're watching this and you're not sure how to loop drums yet, basically you go here, you see this little symbol show up, little arrow at the very end of it and you click it and you just start to drag. And then the more you drag, the more it goes like that and then you can just start repeating it over and over and you've, you're making a drum loop basically and the longer it goes the more it repeats. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to just delete that real quick. I'm going to show you what it sounds like without it looped to 8 bars. This is what it sounds like. <laughs> Alright, so that's 8 measures. So if you were to loop it, I'm gonna loop it once and then you'll see what he's talking about real quick. So I'm gonna try it again. And this is when it's just looped once. And then, I don't know if you heard that, but that was the cymbal crash right there. It was a little faint. I'm actually gonna turn up the cymbal so you can maybe hear it a little better. But at the very beginning, of this uh, drum loop is a cymbal right here. And that's the cymbal, so if you do it again, if you start from like here, hear that cymbal crash. I don't know if you heard it or not, but it was there. So basically, like the whole thing starts off with that cymbal crash, and so when you repeat it, obviously that cymbal is gonna hit again. So the way that I go about kinda changing that around, so I'm actually gonna go back to just the very first drum thing the uh, groove I'm actually gonna copy so control C I'm just gonna click right at the end of the measure paste it and then what I do as I just click here double click go to where the symbol is which is right there I'm just gonna take the symbol out so you double click to take the symbol out close it and then if you play it no more no more cymbal crash. This is probably not the best example because it's hard to hear because you have all these other <laughs> crashes right here. So I'm actually gonna take those crashes out. I'm gonna delete them just so it's easier to hear. I'm gonna take all these crashes out. And by the way, to do that, I'm just right clicking one of these, click select all notes with same pitch, and then you just click delete. You can do that with any of the ones that you want, any of the MIDI. I'm gonna, keep that one actually. So now you can probably hear it a lot better. Let's try it again. So now there's no more cymbal crash at the beginning of it because we took it out. Yeah, so like typically, you know, I, I took all these cymbals out that were already in there. I just did that just so you can hear the main cymbal that I wanted to kind of emphasize. Obviously, when you're doing this kind of stuff, you typically would want to have some kind of cymbal going on or a hi-hat or something like that. Like, you know, I don't know if I need to explain that. I just really wanted to make that clear because I realized that the very first thing that I did was just like covered in cymbals. So it was kind of hard to make out the one I was trying to get a point across with. So that's the only reason I deleted all those other ones, just so I could show the main one that I wanted to talk about. And again, you can just make this all manually if you wanted to. You don't have to use drum grooves, like preset stuff. You can do whatever you want yourself, just by clicking any of these things. 
So now what I do is now I'll loop this one. So now you can loop this one as much as you want and there won't be a symbol crash unless you want to put it back in there. So let's just say you wanted 16 bars. Uh, let's just say we want to do that. So now it'll go through without a symbol crash at the end, which I think when you said the end, you were probably referring to the beginning, technically, you're like, like the beginning of the drum loop, you know? Because it really does just happen in the very beginning if that's what you're referring to. Because every time it repeats, it repeats from the beginning, obviously, and so it hits that crash. And then what I would do after that is now you can actually, you know, shift, click that, copy the whole thing, uh, click at the very end, and then paste, control V, now, if you wanted like 16 bars, now you have 16 bars of a, a drum loop where the crash only hits at the end of the 16 bars. So it's really like a manual thing. This is the way that I've always done it and it works really well. So if you want to do that, go here. Then if you fast forward here, then it hits. You see what I'm saying? Like I'm kind of skipping through it just because I want to wait the entire time. But that's what's happening now. So now the symbol is only going to hit at the end of 16 bars. And obviously you could do it like as many bars as you want. You could take it out of here. It's really all a, a, a matter of like creativity. Like whatever you want to do, you can control it. But like as far as I know, I don't think there's a way to actually just get one of these because they're preset. That's just the way that, you know, they're set up. They're pre-set up like that to have the crash right there. So yeah, if you repeated it, the eight bars, then it's just going to, you know, repeat the crash in the beginning. So yeah, in that situation, I just go in there and I manually take it out. You can just do whatever you want. All right, so I hope that helped answer your question. I really do. I hope they understood it correctly. So I post new stuff every Monday and Thursday. Um, a lot of guitar performances as well as stuff like this, like recording stuff or like uh, drum plugging, stuff like that, as well as like guitar related tips sometimes. Yeah, so you're interested in that kind of stuff, then definitely subscribe. I also want to thank my Patreon community. You guys are freaking awesome. Really, really awesome. Really grateful for you. You can go there and the link in the description if you're interested in really cool exclusive content that I offer only there. So stuff like my own personal like recording process or like my songwriting process. Also like weekly challenges that I offer which are really fun. And yeah, if you're interested in that, link in the description and also really helps me to fund my videos. So really just appreciate it a whole lot. And yeah, I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video. All right, see ya.